Hi, my name is Simon Fentress, and I'm the manager of Sunrise Center. And um, I want to encourage you to participate in the Yes on Proposition 37, which is the labeling of GMO foods. Uh, our executive director of the Sunrise Center has a letter below, and you'll see that. And I'm just going to give a paraphrase and also give some of my personal views on why you should vote Yes on Proposition 37 and, and do phone banking and, and also donate if you can. Uh, basically, the Prop 37 started out with Pam Larry, a, a concerned grandma about her grandchildren, not wanting to, her, her grandchildren to have uh, the GMO foods in their cereal and the soda pop and, and everything without uh, really knowing. So she spent money on her credit card. I met her personally. She stayed over at my house. Is This is really uh, uh, troubling to me that uh, what, what's happening is because Monsanto and Dow Chemical and PepsiCo and Coca-Cola and, and other mega corporations have all thrown $38 million into the pot. What they want you to do is go down and vote no on Prop 37 because you don't have a right to know because what that what they're really concerned about is that you're going to alter what you're doing. And your family is going to alter what they're doing, and 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 other people that you know might alter what they're doing, and not actually and realize, oh, hey, this label has uh, GMO foods in it. I don't think that I'll get this because I'm concerned. I'm not really certain that those that those are safe. And what I want to tell you is that there's been a level of deceptiveness from the no on Prop 37. They went so far as to dress somebody up. Uh, in, a, in a lab coat and say they were from Stanford. They hired a right-wing thi think tank, the, uh, the Hoover Institute, and had them pretend they were from Stanford. And when Stanford got wind of it, they said, excuse me, we don't want you to represent yourself as one of us because you're actually not a scientist. So if you think that maybe that's a, a bit deceptive and, and maybe they're just concerned about their bottom line, just imagine what they're willing to do to your food. Now, if you're worried about democracy in America and California and having choice, not just being dominated by corporate interests, this is a good proposition. Proposition 37 is a good proposition to vote yes on because it's really about money. It's really about moneyed corporations saying, no, no, you can't, no, I'm sorry. Look, before this whole proposition got even got as a million votes to put it on as a ballot initiative, before that even happened, 66% of Californians said, no, we, we, we want to know if we're eating GMO foods, okay? Now, after they're running ads every 38, uh, every, every 30 minutes, now it's worn down to like 46%. And the no, no on 37 was about 29%. And now it's about 40. It's in striking distance. Now, what they're gonna say to people and your family and friends every half an hour, hi, no on 37, it's gonna put family farms out of business. <laughs> What's PepsiCo and Monsanto so concerned about putting family farms out of business? Isn't that what they do? Really? They're also going to uh, say, well, you know what? Your food bill is going to be $400 more expensive. Now look, I don't want to spend $400 on my food a year as a family either. Okay, I got five kids. They're hungry. It's probably be more like $800 for me. Listen, I wouldn't even care if it was $800. But the truth is, is they say they gave the same line to the Europeans. And guess what? It's not true. It didn't happen that way. But what's going to happen is people are going to realize there's GMO foods uh, in, in the food that they're eating. You're going to be like, oh, wow, that high fructose corn syrup has GMOs in it. And you know what? My friend, whatever your name is, told me that that's not so good for me. And down in the link below 
is a study that just came out, the Seralini study. Now, there's a lot of people discrediting it, but it's basically the same study, same exact study that Monsanto did for 90 days to say, hey, these foods are safe, except they did the study for two years, and guess what they found out? Cancer, 600% higher in the rats that they studied. So if you're interested in your family having 600% higher cancer rates, what I would say, just march right down to the voters booth and say, no on 37, I am a corporate shill, and what I want to do is not to know. <laughs> but I don't really think that you want to do that if you got this far in the, in, in the video. So below, if you like this content, first of all, please subscribe so you can get more of this content. Another thing is in, in the, the bar below, uh, you can see um, uh, links to California Right to Know, to the Seralini study, and to, to other, other information in regards to what I conveyed to you in, in this video. And please share this video with your family and friends. Look, I'm a dad of five. I really don't want GMO foods around because my my family my kids might be tempted into eating you know some sugar and guess what's going to happen to them they're going to be eating gmo foods so i urge you for your families for your friends for your aunts your uncles your sisters your friends your enemies anybody please vote yes on proposition 37 thanks